So in episode 11, we're going to show you guys the workload that it takes for our waterfowl projects, our waterfowl hunts. It's shaping up to be a really good season and we're excited for our first clients to walk through the door. Do you seriously want me to do this? Like straight out of Mr. Rogers. Howdy! I didn't expect to see you guys here. Uh, this is the island. This is Little Slough. This is the bowl. Chicken noodle. <laughs> This is the uh, outhouse slough. So we call this, uh, this is big slough, or outhouse area, or let's just call it the outhouse. Why, I have no idea. I mean, it got planted on July 15th. And it didn't have a drop of rain on it until last week. over and uh, chat with my buddy Tucker. Uh, he's got triple C grading and excavating out of Pulpa, Oklahoma. Right, right, right. So if you go straight across to the road on the fence over there. Like where the corner's at? Uh, left. Okay. The green tree. The red yeah. green tree right there in the middle. <laughs> uh, the green tree and all the other green trees. <laughs> right. Uh. We went in here this year and put in a berm all the way around this field. It's give or take about 25 acres. We planted milo and Japanese millet. Uh, for the most part, the Japanese millet didn't come up, but as you can see, the milo did really well for itself. This is about a 25 acre milo patch that we're gonna put under water. And our thinking and our idea is that we've created a feed habitat situation environment in this area that's set up like this, specifically for waterfowl. This is the island. And as you can see, we've got Japanese millet all the way across this thing. And by far, since we built this project here, this is the best crop, best stand that we've ever had. And I am super excited about it. So this is just one of the many projects that we have and what we do to try to have the most optimal, best duck hunting that we can have uh, for our clients and having habitat for ducks that come down and places for them to feed and places for them to be. This is Big Slough, and like I said, it is big. This is a huge, huge drainage. Several thousand acres actually drain into here. With small rains, it actually fills easily. And so pray that we get some good uh, late fall, early winter rains. This thing fills up and we've got a very, very solid home for the ducks. And we're excited about Big Slough. Even though it's dry right now, we will, uh, we know we're gonna get some water and we're gonna have a really awesome place for the for ducks to come this winter. Always at an angle, Derek. Thanks Always at an angle. <laughs> Don't go over hills without an angle. <laughs> Some advice, take my own advice. So this is the uh, second to last episode of Behind the Brand. Um, this project came together over a year ago. Um, it has bloomed and blossomed into something that wasn't really what I was thinking, and I'm really excited to where, it's, where it has gone, where it's taking us. Um, We've got one more episode after this one to wrap up and close the first season. And we're uh, actually in the works and planning a uh, season two. So you guys stay tuned and we're excited to show you guys what we have to offer.